Hi everyone, what is going on? This is Saint Denalia, bringing you my first ever uh, Let's Play video. And I've chosen Pokemon Brown. I've only ever played it once before, and I didn't play it as a, uh, as a Nuzlocke, so I've decided I'm going to Nuzlocke it this time. Now I've never played a straight Nuzlocke before either, <laughs> I've only ever played randomised, so I understand it's a little bit different, maybe it's going to be a little bit more difficult, no chance of getting something really strong on the first the first three, when you start a, you know, catching a Dragonite in the first route like I have been, been getting some good luck. Uh, so, hopefully, this is going to go on. Hello, you must be new here. Welcome to this land called New John. My name is Timothy, but you can call me Tim. Thanks, Tim. I'm the island's Pokemon tutor. This is a Pokemon. There are a lot of these in the region area. I've done a fair extent of research on these, and it seems that they have special capabilities for fighting, as well as being team household pets. So I don't think I'd like every Pokemon as a household pet, to be honest. But now, if you could choose a Pokemon as a household pet, what would it be? Right, so let's pick a name. I am Saint, so that's what my name's going to be. Uh, just to let you know as well, during this run, I have got the um, speed button set on my controller. So, oh, let's set the emulation sound up a little bit. There we go. So what I've decided is, while I'm doing the run, while I'm training, I'm going to use the, uh, the speed button so I can grind a little bit faster, but I won't be using it uh, during battles or while I'm uh, getting from place to place, going through caves. Uh, so, also not through any speech because I don't want to miss any of the story. I've only played it once before, so I don't really remember where I need to go or what I need to do. So, get ready to see me very, very confused. The adventure starts here, so come see me some time tomorrow after you awake. See you later. Nice one. Sick. Uh, I love the sound effects in these general games. Oh shit, I literally just said I'm not going to do that on the overworld. <laughs> Alright, so still the potion of the PC, just like in the originals. Um, this version of Brian as well is the uh, 2014 version that's got uh, the updated uh, Gen 2 Pokemon in it as well. Uh, and some other updates, I can't remember exactly what it is. Well, we'll look on following your dad's footsteps, sweetie. Go south and look for the Professor Oh, go away, mum. Right. Uh, wait, she said south. Let's go south. That's what this dude's got to say. Hey, you going to be a Pokemon trainer, Saint? Uh, yes, I am. Cool. I'm going to be one soon as well. It's very hard but rewarding. Sure thing. Oh, go down here. Seashore City. Ways of new journeys begin their long travels. Oh, what a nice sentiment. I'm feeling like I've gone the wrong way, but I don't know, I don't know. I feel like he was going to jump me then. Like I'm not got a Pokemon yet, I was a bit worried. Do, 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 do. And this fella. Alright, the Gravel Town Light is giving out free samples today. Oh, this is the guy that's going to give me free potion. Sick. Now, I'm used to getting really excited whenever I see items or pick anything up because I've been playing randomised those locks lately, so. If I pick something up and I'm really disappointed, that's why. <laughs> Today we're waiting for you to get here and use your rare Pokemon, so come to that right away. So let's do it. I like the rewind of the Professor, as you call. Family's here. I'm oh, sorry. No be patient. Oh, then you both ready for your first Pokemon. Yeah, like you would not fucking believe. So yeah, grandfather wanted me to carry on the tradition. You're a master. I said to go to you. Now, I don't remember, I actually remember what the starters are in this. I'm guessing it's the first three anyway. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the original starters. So that's cool. Which makes my choice pretty easy because Bulbasaur is my dude. Got you, fucker. There we 
go. Uh, no, I will not activate him. Well, no choice because it's a Nuzlocke. So we are going to call him. Hmm, what should we call him? Let's think of a theme of how I'm going to name my Pokemon this year. Well, Manchester City have just won the Prem English Premiership, so I'm going to name them after Manchester City players. Starting with... Uh, how do you go back? There we go. Uh, yeah, let's have a way around. Oh, by the way, I'm not a uh, Manchester City fan before anyone starts judging me for that. Which, if you've been following the football this year, it's a bit of a surprise that they've uh, won it so early, I think, because that 1-0 win from uh, West Brom over Man U this week has absolutely shocked everyone. No received a charmed it. Cool. Naturally. And here comes the first battle. Now does Charmander remember when you first pick it up? You know what, I don't think it does, so hopefully. It's probably got better stats than the Bull Sawyer to be fair. So let's try oh, I was meant to go down to Growl then, so I can knock his attack down a little bit. And, you know, that's pretty hard. Yeah, he's gonna And he has speeds as well, which is not great. Maybe that'll make me last a little bit longer. Ah, oh, he goes for Growl as well. Did he improve the AI on this or what? Like, I do not remember in the originals them being that clever going, well, he's gone for a Growl, so I'm going to have to go for one as well. Ah, you little shit. Alright, so losing the first battle, just exactly what you need. It. Well, that's a great start. The first battle of my first Nuzlocke on my first ever video on my new channel, and I lose it. That crit mattered. Well, it didn't. It was going to beat me anyway. <sighs> now on some of the difficulty of training. Saying we will meet again. Hope we don't, Belland. Alright, let's get out of here. I always like it, he's only just left the door, like how quickly has he ran away? Like, he must have a speed of button to have got away from this building so quick. Alright, so I've got my Pokemon, let's go back up to Seashore Town, I was called Seaside City. Let's see if there are anything else we can do up here. Feeling like there must be somewhere that I can get a map. Like in the original gen, because so far this is uh, f actually following the formula of the first generation pretty well. So I'm thinking, oh, that's my house, so that is not any use all. By the way, sorry if you can hear some music in the background, there's an idiot over the road uh, who is actually sawing in his back garden with a massive uh, metal saw doing, uh, doing concrete slabs and for some reason, that's got music on because you know when you're drilling concrete slabs with with ear protectors on, why not be playing music that you can't even hear? Just to fuck everybody else off when you stop. I think. Right, so nothing up there. Let's get back down south and see where we end up. <laughs> Da, 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 da. I love the music from the original times. So good. That's empty house again. Let's get down. It's time to get down. It's time to get down. Oh, anyway, I, I have this weird thing where everything I say ends up being turned into a song, so if I just break out into really bad uh, music, I'm really sorry. Yo, dude. Professor Tim forgot to pick up his pizza. Will you deliver it for me? Show us how well. We don't deliver you now. Yeah, clearly. But it's a good job that there are 21 children running around to deliver for you. I'm sure there's uh, laws against child labour. Not so slave labour, because he's not paying me for it. 
I say slave labor. Oh, shit, I've gone too far. He's in the same town, isn't it? God's sake. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I remember. I'm not doing that. Idiot. I'll say what, I'd like to know what your opinion is, really, of uh, speed up buttons in Pokemon games. Because it's sort of... The whole point is that you get to the good... You get good cocoa by grinding. But then I suppose if you're playing a ROM, you're not playing against anybody anyway, so you're not really. Um, it's not like you've got to get in a competitive edge. I suppose you should just fight anyway you can. I'm going to be honest, when I play uh, ROMs just for my own fun, on the phone, whatever, I use the speed bomb all the time, so. What do you need me for? Alright, oh, I have a request of you two. On the desk there is an invention Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Say so, more, I take these with you. Got Pokedex. Sick. Also, sorry, I don't know if I said this already, but I'm a bit snotty. Let's grab the stream. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Ah, oh, do you know what? I was just actually starting to think that guy is not as much of an idiot as the other uh, as the other rivals in the original Gen One. It's blue, but actually, that just made him sound like a real dick. I'll fill this up and you won't. Not bad. How they may help you buy? Oh, revamp Pokemon music. I like that. Right, so I'm guessing this is where I get Pokeballs from then, so... Wait... Do I get free ones anyway in this game? Let's just buy 10. Let's see what happens. I'll probably be able to use Pokeballs, hopefully. And then a few potions. Oh, was that silly though? Should I have bought less Pokeballs? And more antidotes. See, this is the thing about doing a straight Nuzlocke for the first time. Never game you don't know. Probably should have picked something a bit easier. Oh well. Oh well, episode might be the only one in the series. I die, I die, and that's the end of it. Right, is this guy a trainer? Because if he is, I am not battling him until I have uh, grinded. Please tell me there's wild encounters in here. Oh, goodness. Right, right, let's just have a go. Yes, I am, kind sir. Youngster wants to fight. Youngster sent out Ratata. Ratata. Ratatar. Right, so. Let's have a go around. Oh, yeah, also, I forgot that there's new types in this. If you've never seen a Pokemon Brown playthrough or never played it yourself, it's, what I remember of it is a really good hack. Um, and that's why I've come back to it. But there are new types in it. I think gas is one. Uh, sound. Uh, I don't really remember what else. Maybe wind or something like that. So let's write it down. So I'm still learning who and what is affected by what. I'm guessing Zubat will be affected by sound types because it's. I mean, it's a bat, right? It's, it uses its ears. So. I'm guessing so. Right, I'm just going to pause the recording here for one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, sorry about that. That was... See where we were. Right, back this fucking zoo. I don't even control what I'm doing. I'm stop playing on the keyboard then. Let's see what this is each life. It's not... It's not very effective, is it? No. That's cool. You can do that all you want to do that. And I'll tackle you to... No, I like each life. I want a healthy. It keeps putting back up, but this stage is actually 
I suppose make a little bit of a difference. He's actually lasted quite a bit longer because of it. Yeah. Oh well. Level six, cool. I'll go with Ratata. Tackle this guy as well. Smash him to pieces. Oh! That crit could have mattered. Shit. Let's get a potion up in here. Jesus, man. What was that? Another one! Stop that! Ugh. Oh, I've got time to miss as well. Oh my days, I'm definitely going to regret not buying more potions. There we go. Tell me about those defense. I need to hit now. At least I have speed. <sighs> okay, that was nearly a very bad start to win lot right there. And Leech Seed. Oh, that's useful. Ah, that's going to slow down the game so much, boys. It's, it's good for the lock. And we get a Zubat that knows Leech Life. I'll Leech Seed him. He'll Leech Life me. I'll just cancel each other out. Right, and of course, Zubat is my first encounter for this cave, so. Yeah, so I can't start up pretty well. So, I'll be trying to catch this Zubat. Oh, critical. Man, I don't want one of them. I do not want to kill this Zubat and then have to solo all the way through to the next town with just uh, Aguero. So, let's see what that does. Yeah, I think that'll do. I'll go with that. And leech life. So we put his up by one. Then my leech seed. So bring that back down. Perfect. And let's have a go with these poke walls. So I've still got four potions because I had them original two, I remember. So actually, that's not too bad. And we've got Zubat. Perfect. And. Into Zubat, uh, yes, we will. We will call him. Oh man, uh, yes. Oh, what is wrong with me? Oh my god, this whole cough is Nuzlocke's just gonna be me naming goddamn Pokemon. Edison, don't know if that's how you spell it, Mark 2Ds, but that's how we're going. Let's get out of here, because I need to go back to the Pokemon Center. Wait. There isn't a Pokemon Center. So, what? Back to Mum? To heal up? Yeah, that sounds right. Let's try that. Man, I could just have this music all the way through the game. You know what music I do like from Pokemon uh, games is the original Route 24, 25 music from uh, Above Cerulean City when we went to Bill's house. That music kicks ass. Let's see what one's got to say. Yeah. No one knows what she's doing. Cool. Alright, so I think now we have a bit of a grinding montage which I will speed up. For the sake of uh, everybody not having to sit and watch me battle a million zoo bats in that cave. My only problem there is I've got to be careful about not losing somebody. I don't want to lose anybody right now. The fact that Zubat and Bulbasaur have both got leech abilities actually is uh, pretty good. Zubat's one not so much because it takes up. Uh, actually, that is your move for the turn if you use it. But uh, Bulbasaur, that's pretty cool. Say it up, you set up the rest of the fight. So, one thing is, I'm going to grind Bulbasaur up to 10 and then get Zubat out there, do some switch training with Zubat, get him up to uh, 10 as well. Yeah, good crit. <sighs> ah, I forgot to set up the leech, man. Do that because if I set up the leech seed, I can't take a really take any damage from the Zubats because by the time it damaged me, I'm going to take it back and I can just keep it all sort of full level. Basically, grind him to death. Like, literally, grind him to death. Like, with a pestle and mortar because that wouldn't be cool. 
In fact, it'd be pretty sick. Dun 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 Perfect. Uh, wait, what the hell did I just say I was going to do? Grind. That's what I said I was going to do. Alright, I've got an escape route, which is gonna, probably going to come in useful. Da 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 da. You know what? I hate the sound of this music when it's uh, grinding. Maybe I need to turn the sound, game sound down or off because that is awful. Let's do that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Right, so. Let's have a delete seed again. Okay, so it's Leech Life. Shock. Man, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get sick of the sight of leech attacks by the time I get out of this cave. Not to mention, that's the only. Oh my god, is that the only. Offensive move that Zubat has. Man, that is absolutely awful. Let's get this train actually. Yeah, not too worried about you. Oh, actually, you know what? I feel like Pikachu. Is Pikachu in a Thunder Wave straight away? Or is it just growl and tackle in this gen? Hmm. So I've got the leech in, so that works out well. Uh, snaps back. Tackle the Pikachu. Oh yes, that's what we want. Some crits. Thunder Shark. It already knows Thunder Shark. Now, Zubat, you see the back pot flying? In this, let me know. So my job will be find out by the end of this. But uh, if we are going to go in with Zubat first, because at level four, Thunder Shot from level five. If it's flying type, probably would have put it in the ground. Uh, tackle from Pikachu. Excuse me. Ah, uh, paralyzed man. Theory. Uh, Very good. Let's have a switch. It's a risky switch, but let's have a switch. What's life without a risk? It literally only knows Leech Life. That is absolutely dreadful. Oh my gosh. Wow, that this would be a long while. <laughs> As if my attack could be any less effective. Um, okay, so yeah, let's get back Aguero back out of there. Thanks, Edison, but... Uh, you're not making the save today. I found out something interesting about Kofira actually. That it was originally going to be um, either Ashes Starter or Red Starter. That was originally going to be Kofira. That's what Kofira was designed for. I can't remember which one it was. Anyway, it was one of the two, and um, I actually heard that from a. Uh, one of Dobbs's uh, top 10 videos. If you're not subscribed to Dobbs, definitely do. He does these great top 10 videos, all sorts of Pokemon facts. Uh, and this one was the uh, biggest changes in Pokemon history. And obviously, I mean, just <laughs> he made a good point about it. Of just think about how different the franchise would be if Clefairy had been the uh, been the mascot. In fact, the franchise might not have even taken off. Because let's be honest, it's not the most attractive looking thing. Clefairy, it's cute, but I don't know if it's quite Pikachu. Alright, so. Pass it down. Now, Bulbasaur's paralysed, but I feel like if I do a bit of grinding, oh, the Diglett, I'd love to have got that as my, uh, as my encounter. Scratch. Oh, the paralysis kicks in. And a critical hit. Oh, man. Alright, one more of them, and I'm, uh, God damn it. Mate, that is ridiculous. I feel like I can probably leech back the damage that this Diglett's doing now. Every turn. Ah, just one. And my tackle is absolutely 
Oh, no, actually, you know what? It's not useless. That's pretty good. That wasn't even a crit. I thought that was a lot. Yeah, last one. So we'll keep tickly diglet. Tickling diglet. I swear I'm going to keep tripping over my words like that. Tickling diglet. Uh, let's get out of here. Go back and heal. Do, do, do. Genuinely thought you couldn't get an encounter in that part of the cave. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, we battle. It's every level 3 to do that. I'm not going to do any damage. It's a bit more XP in it, so. Oh, and from beating those trainers, I will have got some money. So hopefully I'll be able to afford a couple of. Uh, maybe a couple more potions, maybe a couple of antidotes or something like that. Maybe paralyze heal. I think antidotes are probably the most important thing. Anything else, if you're lucky, you can just get away, you know. But uh, if I get an antidote and I'm in the middle of a cave, I am absolutely screwed. Now, this one's a level 4, so I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it light. Uh, set up with the HC, critical hit. See, that stuff comes out of nowhere. This is what scares me about those locks. Critical hit. You think, you think you're doing really well. And then, critical hit. That's the least life. Okay, we're getting to the scary end of health bar now. Really need to take this out. There we go. I can't wait till we get to a point where uh, we start seeing some better Pokemon. Not just to catch, but just on the trainers teams. Something a bit more interesting. Ah, oh, and he's absolutely paralysed. And I might, you know what? I might even have to... No, he's going to just keep going 8 and 9. I'm going to keep sucking the health back. I'm not going to go anywhere. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, these two that's kind of ideal to train on, to be honest with you, when I've got Leech Seed. Now, here's a question. If I set up the Leech with Aguero, and then trade out to Zubat, does the Leech stay? And will I do double damage? Let's get out of here. Right, uh, let's go to the Mark first, see what we can get. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. I've got 200, man. Okay, so I'm just gonna get two antidotes. I feel like that's the most damaging thing. Paralyzed heals, yeah, it makes the battle a bit trickier, but if I need to, I can just come back and heal. Poisons might not last until you get a chance to heal, so I kind of feel like that's the best thing to do. Do, do. Might change the uh, speed up, speed up, because it's quite quick. Might just change it to two times. Take a quick rest. There we go. Oh, good, and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Ah, bye bye now. Right, so. And we go. And carry on through that cave. I must have let emulate his audio when I speed up as well. As in, like, obviously it speeds it up, but after I've done it. Like this. What is that noise? Sounds like it's playing in a really echoey cave. Ah, fair enough. Immersive. You might say. Right. So. Let's see where we're going. I've already beat you, little help. And I seem to remember getting from the first place to the next town is a long way. I'm lost, can you tell me the way out of here? I'm not even going to smash me in a Pokemon battle, no! Chica la! Look at Ooh, level 6 though. Oh, that was an attractive noise. Okay, so. Each seed. I'm guessing it's going to know Stringy Shot, yeah. Fails. So I hit the lead seed and it goes for tackle. Oh, you ain't doing nothing. Yeah, cool. And what else do you know? Just stream shot and tackle. Cool, cool, cool. I'd much rather come across cappies than uh, metapods or cocooners because, geez, man, the harden. I can't deal with the harden. Can't 
do with a Honda. Okay. We'll tackle, that takes it down. Beautiful, come on, make that level 10. Nice one, Vine Whip. Beautiful, I'm so happy with that. About to use Weedle, yes. So I'm guessing Weedle's gonna know the same sort of things. It might know Poison Sting. I think Weedle knows Poison Sting's its first move, actually. Yeah. So maybe this isn't the best idea. We'll find out. Now, Leech Life's a Bug-type move. Weedle's a Bug-type Pokemon. Normally effective, yeah, just one HP. Uh, oh no. Thanks for coming, Edison. Bit of switch training. I like a bit of that. Gives my speed. Poison sting does. Hey, you know what? Oh, it was a crit, that's why. I was supposed to say flipping out. That's a pretty decent decent damage. So it's not effective. And it's from a level 6 weedle. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I have vine whip. I need to move that up to the top. Is that still doable? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Get some poison sting. Don't poison, thank you. Van Wit. And that is all she wrote for you, Weedle. Thank you for coming. Good night. Sayonara! Let's go to level 5. Back to use Cat P. Yes, I will. Edison, go out there and start it off. Get Guerra back out of there. <sighs> Cut squad. Life. Why have I gone for it again? Why have I not swapped out already? Oh, do I go for the long? Oh, yeah. I'll just get all the health, get all the XP from this Caterpie. Oh, I don't know, actually, it hits pretty hard, that Caterpie. I mean, it doesn't, but against my level 5 Zubat, it's an absolute blast sheet, it does. Let's speed up this grindy battle. Let's see where we end up. See if he's gonna win. Looks like he is. Perfect. Hopefully that's gonna be able to get it up to level six. Oh, are you kidding me? I lost. You sure did, sunshine. Right, so I'm going north. Let's just have a look at what the state I'm in. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need to reach for potions yet. Items, skate rope. Uh, so I've not really picked up anything in here apart from my skate rope. Diglett to start off with. You know what? I wish I'd got a Diglett as my first encounter. I might have already said that, but God, I wish I had. Glad the shit out of that. Oh, easy. Yeah, the Pokemon in this cave hopefully will continue to be easy. I think that there's a Vulpix in here as a rare encounter. I wouldn't like to come up against that at the minute. Because if it's got an ember or something, it's probably going to body me. Oh, I can't believe I just said that! Jesus! What is that? Ugh. Okay, right. I mean... <laughs> let's see, just see what this is. It's only level 4, to be fair, so... Maybe Bulbasaur would survive. It, it just tail whip. Maybe it's other moves and we tackle or something like that. But I feel like Vulpix... Because you don't normally find them at level four in the wild. In the wild, I feel like its first move is going to be something like Ember, which uh, the idea of is kind of making me want to pull my head through this window. To be fair, it's just going to keep over Tail Whip, which is going to keep dropping my defense. Is it then going to sneak up on me with an attack? And should I switch out before I give it a chance? It's going to Tail Whip again. Right. Let's get a little sore out there. Let's see what he can do. Oh, it knows! Oh, you. Oh, and a bird as well! You're a. F absolute fucker that halves my attack! <sighs> now what? Oh, I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna survive. Oh, don't crit. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. God, I nearly pressed A way too quick then. Yeah, what do you do, man? Edison, let's get back out of there, lad. Don't know what hard work, man. 
If it keeps going for that ember, though, oh my god, that ember could beat this. Edison has no moves left. Oh, this is. Oh! Wow, that is quite lucky. Yeah, you're panicking now, aren't you? Hopefully, it survives. It does. We'll struggle again. We'll get it over with. Whoa, that was scary. Jeez. First scary moment. I take a breath. Right. And. Right, do we keep going? Or do I need to leave, really? Depends how long this cave's going to be. I feel like a cave this early on in the game isn't going to be this long. Isn't going to be too long. But it's a game I've not played before, so I don't know. Which way have I just come? So I've come down here? Let's just another dig look. See, right now. Oh, why did I do that, man? Yeah, I've. The fact that this has got no moves and I hope everyone's burned. Oh no, that was an awful double click. Oh, okay, scratch! Oh, you live! Uh, I feel like now it's on such low health, I'm gonna beat it, so I'm gonna switch out to. Guerra. Just for long enough to hit it. Take the scratch, you leave that up, thank you very much. And hit the tackle. And then we will uh, probably use an escape room to get out of here. Oh, what's this? Repel. Ooh, that makes it tempting to not go. Okay, right, we're going. I'm going to do it. And then I'll use the repel at some point when I get back in to get me back through here faster. That's a pretty good idea, Wade. Well done. Thanks, Wade. Right, so it's escape rope. I love the escape rope. Like, how does it even how does it even work? They should have made an item call teleport. Does he put me back outside his lap? Uh yeah. Well, can I heal up in here while I'm here? No, I can't. No, I don't want to read that either to be honest with you. Ooh, Stephanie! Professor Tim's getting a little bit, I like that. What a lid. Okay. Okay, after having said that I'm not going to use this speed up, I feel like I'm going to use it a lot more than I thought I was. <gasps> so we're here up, ready to go. And I think now it's just sort of a waiting game of trying to work out how much I need to get my levels up so I'm not going to keep coming back and healing because this is a long way to come back to heal. You know, what I always find in a Nuzlocke is if you find an Abra, you are in such good luck because not only are you going to have an Alexa, which is absolute amazing, you're also going to be able to teleport back to those Pokemon at any time, which is also amazing. Alright, so not for me to do anything. I don't think I'm battling any of the traders actually thinking about it. So. Back in the tunnel we go. That's whoa, come on man, what a waste of time. Um, let's get through this tunnel nice and quick, because we've been here a million times. I thought I activated you know what, I've not activated that repel, I'm really surprised that I didn't get any encounter there. Alright, so let's see if this does more than one damage to a level four. I think that still might only be one damage, you know. Tap misses. I can really do switch out. I can't believe that bloody thing hit one ember and burnt Aguero. That goddamn Vulpix has killed me off. Okay, so we'll go for Tackle. Not too worried about you, Zubat. but yeah, you can go for the Leech Life. Is go <laughs> level eleven. Actually, level up much faster than that Zubat. I feel. Right. So now, do we go down the ladders or up and across? Item. Rare candy. That's perfect. Now, oh man, do I use that now? Do, 
can you sell rare candy? Because then I could buy some more potions and balls. You don't even come at me with facts about rare candies, like about training and EVs and IVs and shit. I do not care. I'm not one of those gamers, you know what I mean? I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, but if you use your rare candies, you don't get your extra value for some training or whatever they fucking go. I do not give a shit about that. This is why I'm not a uh, fantastic gamer. That's why I'm only a mediocre gamer. Because I can't be arsed with that meta game. I just want to, I just want to smash everything up. I want to run through Pokemon. I want to leave a trail of Zubats lying behind me in a cave. Which is exactly what I'm doing right now. And a Vulpix mixed in there as well. Oh, so. Ah. I'm going to use the Repel, but at the same time, I don't really know where I'm going, so I feel like it's a bit of a waste. Uh, you... I need Slash not going to do anything to Diglett, is it? You know what? That's actually not too bad. I'm going to stick with that. Ooh, it's getting bright out. <laughs> it's really strange weather lately. I'm in, uh, by the way, I'm in um, Mansfield in Nottinghamshire in England. And the weather lately has been absolutely ridiculous. It was only about three weeks ago that we had about a foot of snow and then I mean, it's been absolutely knocking it down since some storm coming up from somewhere. And then apparently, apparently now I'm getting some hot air up from Africa. I mean, God, I'm doing the most British thing possible right now, talking about the weather, when I could be about to lose a Zuba. There we go. Man, I am just a stereotype right now. Sipping a cup of tea, talking about the weather. Oh. Those extra steps, man. Right. Oh. Yeah, I'm going down there. Joe dude, sick. Right, so... Edison, I'm feeling like you've not got much chance against that guy. So let's get where we're out there. Knock it down with a line whip. Bish bosh bosh. Use this tackle though. That was critical, I only did 3 HP, so that's pretty good. Brilliant. That's one. So down we go. Oh, what is that? I like meeting people here. You like surprising people here, you tosser. It's <sighs> got a Rattata, right? Um, no, mm, no. Yeah, thought as much. Ooh! Okay, that's a bad idea. Let's have where I've got this. I know. Because the quick attack. Oh, that out speeding is absolutely essential for that Rattata right now. Without that, he is absolutely nothing. But it's level 7 Rattata with its quick attack. Man. That's a nasty mod. Medicine levels up, that's good to know. It's about to use Spear out as way to change Pokemon. No, I don't. I'll stick in. That's what I do. And um, he's gonna know Peck or something like that. Oh my god, I'm a grass type. I'm not weak to fly in. Oh, I am! Da! Lock's over, that's it. Babu Beep, dead. Fuck! <sighs> wow, this is very, very short. Let me run this a bit. It's alright, I'm learning. I'm learning about the game. Learn what's going on. Come back with another episode. Start off properly. Choose a different Pokemon. So I'm not starting with Bulbasaur again, even though... Sorry Bulbasaur, you're cool, but... I just can't do that again. The reason being that I feel like you're going to be weak to more things at the start of the game. That Vulpix, for example. If I squirt up, smashing that. That um, Joe dude, smashing that if I've got squirt up. Ah, oh, Spearow, I'm probably smashing you too. Right, okay, so that's the end of that. I, well, when Bulbasaur went down, I thought there's not even any point trying anymore. So. 
I think I'm going to call it there because that was abysmal. That's my first episode done. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I work, I work really random shifts and I'm doing this as a bit of a hobby on the side. So when I can, I'm going to keep uploading. If you want to know when the next video is coming, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm going to keep uh, tweeting out when I'm going to do a new release. Probably the day before, if I can. Uh, my Twitter's going to be in the description. I'm not sure if I've made the Twitter for my channel yet, so... I don't know what it is yet, but it'll be in the description. Uh, also subscribe, you'll get my next one. I'm going to set this as a, as a playlist so you'll be able to see this series. All in one go, uh, and hopefully I'll be adding an episode at a time. Uh, maybe two or three times a week, just to start off with, as I get used to everything. First time I've used, obviously I'm using OBS to record this, first time I've used that, so uh, I'm still getting used to how to really mix this and edit and everything. So thank you for watching if anybody is watching and I will see you next time. Look out for the next episode. Peace.